Hello, this is Ramirez with Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. Um, just to give you guys a quick update, I know there hasn't been a lot of content on the channel recently. I've been kind of busy. Um, some of our instructors have just been very busy, so I haven't had the time to come and uh, record content. Hopefully we're going to make some changes to that. I may be doing some stuff from home when I can't t uh, do content here in the studio. Also having someone to demonstrate with me also been kind of difficult because as I said, the instructors have been really, really swamped. So today I'm going to do a review and this is for the um, Darkwood Armory Gorget. And in HEMA, a lot of our gorgets are plastic, and this is nice because it's actually leather and does have a lot of steel plates in it. So the neck guard itself, circularly, it's two halves, but underneath this leather, there is steel, so it is a very rigid protector. I have this actually designed to be worn over my coat, over my HEMA jacket, rather than under. So you'll notice I have a lot of neck space here, even on the tightest settings. Also, this is used heavily in the SCA, where normally you'd have garb and stuff, collars that would go underneath it. So it's helpful in that regard. Uh, I would like to come up and show you. And I will take this off, but I want you to see there are buckles to adjust it on either side so that you can get a variety of neck sizes out of it. Uh, this one was custom made for me, if you've seen my Darkwood Armory video. But it has a lot of rivets here, and those rivets are actually, if I tap it, maybe you can hear it. They're metal plates underneath here that are overlapped. Um, there is metal in here and on the back as well. So if you're taking back shots, there's actually a solid plate here in the metal, but there are several, you can kind of hear them clinking through, but there are several plates and they're kind of sandwiched between the leather on the in outside and the leather on the inside. And as you can see, that collar is attached, the bishop's kind of mantle to the actual neck collar itself. And that is another steel piece in there. On the whole, this is a really uh, nice design. It is very, very comfortable. The leather is not like cheap leather. It's very smooth and buttery, but it's still fairly strong and holds up. Many people in the SCA that I know that have these have them for many, many years. So once again, this is the Darkwood Armory um, Gorget. It runs for, I believe, $130 or $140 plus shipping. If you go to darkwoodarmory.com or you can see my video, which I will attach in the, um, hopefully up here at the end you'll be able to see that link to the video where I, I'm actually speaking with one of the owners of Darkwood Armory and um, what they do aside from their collar, which I'm reviewing here. So once again, I really, really like it. If you want something that's very, very small, um, like the Destroyer Mods, this isn't the one for you, but I like it. It has plates all the way around the neck. So on me, it, you saw earlier when I have it on, that I would really have protection actually throughout here. And then the shoulders on my jacket would help cover the shoulder itself. But right up until there is a very, very protective gorget. I really like it. And I hope that if you decide to get one, you'll like it too. Thank you very much. This is once again Ben Ramirez with Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. We're based out in Norfolk, Virginia. If you are interested in joining our club or coming out, I will leave a link to our Facebook group in the descriptions below. Until the next video, see you later.